Uh, this is your Houston chiropractor, Dr. Gregory Johnson. We have Scott down here with us this morning, all the way down here from McKinney, Texas. What's that, about a four and a half, five hour drive? Yeah, yep. Yes. Yep. And uh, when I was doing Scott's history, he, he told me a story about he's been to what, five or six other chiropractors, you said? Yeah. And you only had one out of that five or six that actually adjusted you where you felt better when you left? Right. Is that correct? That's correct. And that's kind of what attracted you to come see us because you see me adjusting the full body and, and aggressively? Yes. Yep. Okay. So we're going to, you heard his story now. He's been to a bunch of different chiropractors. I only thought one of them was helpful to him. In fact, you told me you didn't have any help on the other ones, right? Correct. And uh, I bet you they did more therapy than adjustments on you too, didn't they? The ones that didn't help you? Yeah. Yeah, it just didn't, it just didn't do a lot for me. Well, you know, chiropractors are supposed to find, detect, and correct vertebral subluxations by adjusting the the body mechanics that are out of alignment, and that's what we do. So, really, chiropractors have kind of gotten more used to using physical therapy modalities like the electrical muscle stem, hot packs, roller tables, diathermy, and all that crap. Right, which. Uh, I, I just use my hands here, which you're gonna find out here just shortly. And then we've already done Scott's uh, orthopedic neurological examination and history, and it was that thorough? I think Scott? so, yeah. Yeah, more thorough than what you've gotten at other places? Yeah, I think so. Okay, good. So what I'm gonna have you do, just to show the, the people out there what we're doing, I'm gonna have you close your eyes and bend your head forward and backwards for me, keeping your eyes closed back to neutral, okay. So when you open your eyes and look in the mirror, first thing that you should point out is your head's forward in the Z axis, your ears all the way out here. And if you look in the mirror too, you can see that your head's kind of drifted off to the right. Do you see that? Mm -hmm. And that's why your right hand is appearing a little more distant from your hip here than it is here because your pelvis has shifted to the left while your head's forward to the right on the X axis. So this is uh, Scott's very first adjustment here at Advanced Chiropractic Relief. So I'm gonna start him off here on the biophysics table first. Let's lay you on your tummy again. Legs are even and they stay even, but that tightens up a little bit in his thighs and low back, but not a lot. So I'm going to start off adjusting his sacroiliac joint, the right one first, and then the left one here, and then his sacrum straight superior to inferior and posterior to anterior. Yes, sir. Okay, try to hold your breath. Just breathe. That's it. Yes, sir. I still got one. Still even. This actually should feel a little smoother than that first one, though. Can you tell? Uh, no? Yeah, not really. Okay. Yeah. Put that curve back in your neck. This is your biggest issue right here is you got that forward head posture. There, okay. Let's turn you on your back now, please, sir. So the biggest painful part of that was right there where I was telling you the arthritis was. Yeah. Yep. Which the arthritis that he's talking about is osteoarthritis, which is degenerative joint disease. Those are synonymous terms. There, okay, slide down about half an inch right there. And put both arms straight out to the sides, palms facing up, please, sir. Okay, just relax your hands right here. Okay, let this go. I got you. Let it go. There. Now you should have felt that from your knee all the way up to your lower back, Scott. Uh, a little higher. 
little higher than that. Okay. Yeah. Let me have this leg limp too. There you go. Good. Feel that one up there too? Yeah. Good. Okay, let's sit you up sideways and face that way, please, sir. There we go. Yeah, you always want to get up sideways. Okay, let me just check your shoulders here. Well, you've got some creakies in your shoulder too. Let go. Try to let this totally relax and let me do it. There you go. Better. There we go. There. I'm gonna have you kick your shoes off and come over on this table. Scott, I'm going to have you lay on your back with your butt right here. Head up this way, please, sir. No, I'm back. Other no, back. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> there you go. All right, let me get these pins in there. And this is going to feel tight. I don't want to get your shirt down in there. This is our weight reduction program too. I just squeeze it out. Oh my god. <laughs> Very shallow. It'll be over with in just a second. Shallow through your nose. Keep your teeth together. Don't bite your tongue. Just let your legs bend and relax naturally with the table. Are you sleeping like this yet? No. I didn't think so. Alright, see how your legs are parallel with the floor? Mm -hmm. That should feel pretty relaxed in your lower back right now with the exception of those pins. Okay, so just breathe through your nose, Scott. With your left ear. There you go. Oh my God. Yes, sir. <laughs> I just uh. need to distract you for a split second. <laughs> Keep breathing. Deep breaths now. Let me have you. I got you. There. Drop it. Yes, sir. Just like that. Now, Scott has a lot of sinus problems that he's had for years so I'm going to work on his sinuses deep breath through your nose it's going to hurt like the dickens at first okay another deep one in and then I want you to exhale as I'm getting done there you go wait yeah. wait 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 you need a break yeah. oh my gosh <laughs> I told you it wasn't going to be fun. Okay. One more time. But I bet after we get done doing this, you can breathe through your left nostril easier. All right. So I'm done with that one. Oh, my gosh. Now we're going to move on up to your sphenoid sinuses. Those are your ethmoids. Okay. Take a deep breath in. And another deep breath in. Good. You know, after 38 years of doing this, I got some strong hands. So, yep. take a deep breath through your nose. Nose only. <sighs> yes, sir. Follow that temporal sutra all the way around. See that knot right there? <sighs> And right there. Mm -hmm. So you've got some cranial bone yep. distortion here as well, especially on this right side. Deep breath through your nose. Exhale now. Okay. One more time. Okay. Now you can breathe easy. Take a breath through your nose right now and tell me if that's any easier than it was before. You sound clear. I think so. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna adjust your feet now. There's your lateral tarsals. This is your phalanges. Just let this little piggy go. Okay. Okay. 
You don't want any of those little piggies to go market, do you? There we go. It's the lateral tarsals again. Yes, sir. Much better on relaxing on this side. There you go. Yes, sir. Perfect. That's it. Yeah. You have now been adjusted from head to toe, literally. There. Okay. Yeah, let's turn you sideways and come over this way. Let me help you up. Yeah, put yourself up like that. That's perfect. Stand right here in front of the mirror for me again. Okay, let's have you close your eyes and flex your head forward and backwards for me. Back to neutral. Take a look in the mirror right now. See your shoulders are squared off and you got equal spacing down here now. Pull these up and back though. This is your homework. Flare these guys. Palms forward, but bring them back. See how it tightens up your whole trapezius muscle? Okay, now your head's forward and a little right, so we bring it back. Translate left, look in the mirror. Translate left and then tilt backwards and look at the wall behind you. There. One more right there. Okay, now relax again. Now, Scott, when you bend your head forward and backwards again, this should feel a little smoother to you this time, but you tell me. It is smoother. I still feel a little... Where I poked you? A little crunchy back. Okay. Like right in there. Yes, sir. Well, it's probably going to take a couple of adjustments to stabilize you. I can't super glue you in one visit. Yeah. But you, you've seen a bunch of other chiropractors and the good chiropractor that you saw. How did this adjustment compare to those? Oh, this was great. Like, I felt like I've been put through the ringer, which is what I wanted to feel like. <laughs> yeah. I wanted, you know, I just didn't want... You've been put through the dinger, not the <laughs> ringer. <laughs> the ring dinger. Yeah. So you're, you're a member of Team Ring Dinger now. You had your first one. <laughs> Uh, speaking of uh, best chiropractors, we just got this in from the United States Metropolitan Reports uh, that they have named me an advanced chiropractic relief in the top 20 finalists to receive the United States Metropolitan um, Reports 2019 Patients Choice Award in the category of best chiropractors in the Houston Metropolitan area. And their website is usmetroreport.com. And you can vote for me in Houston, Texas on that. And we would appreciate y'all going to that and, and voting. And I'll leave the link in the description box on this video. But, you know, we've gotten number one chiropractor in Houston from three best rated. And uh, when, when they people from the outside are seeing who's has the best reviews and the and the uh, websites and information on chiropractic and patient responses and, and reviews is the most important thing but you can help us to win the 2019 best chiropractor in the Houston metropolitan area by going to usmetroreport.com and voting in Houston, Texas. And uh, I think Tristan put that on there and I'll put a link in the uh, description box on this too. You can vote George, a couple times. Huh? You can vote a couple times. Oh yeah, you can vote a couple times if you want. I don't like cheating. So. <laughs> uh, Scott, how do you feel right now versus how you walked in the door? Uh, better. Okay. Yeah. I can you so. breathe a little easier through your nose right now? Even though that was very oh, painful. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's probably going to take me a couple of times to get you where you're stable, but when you get home, you're going to get sore over the next 72 hours, kind of like a new workout soreness. Put crushed ice in a freezer baggie directly on the skin over whatever sore for 20 minutes. No heat at all. 
And that's what I would advise all of you to do is crushed ice in a freezer baggie right on the spot where you're sore or inflamed because it reduces the inflammatory effect and is a better analgesic for you than taking opioids or, or prescription drugs. Put that crushed ice on there for 20 minutes, but don't leave it on longer than 20 minutes because it has a reverse physiological effect and will cause more inflammation. You're not putting a heating pad on any of this, are you? Good. Do you have any questions for me at this time, Scott? I don't think so. Okay, well, thank you for sharing right. your story with everyone yeah. on YouTube today. This is your Houston chiropractor, Dr. Gregory Johnson, coming to you from Advanced Chiropractic Relief in Houston, Texas, where we could be the Houston metropolitan area's number one chiropractor if you go to this website and vote for us. So thank you very much, and we appreciate y'all and love y'all, and, and thank you for subscribing, watching, and commenting, and sharing all of our YouTube videos. We'll see y'all next time.